Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Gold Rush the Game. Uh, as you can see, I have been busy. I decided to move the wash plant down to the very end here. I'll show you on the map where we're actually going here. Uh, I think we're going to go out on a limb today. Uh, I've moved the wash plant right about here. Now, I know these areas are they're not too bad. Uh, my biggest issue is getting enough gold through in the amount of time that I have. So today, I think we're going to go and uh, pick out the big excavator. We're going to go ahead and rent that thing. Uh, what we are going to do first is get rid of that thing, so we're going to go back to the map here. See, wash plant's right about here. I might move it over a little more and just try to get as much air as I can. Uh, the large excavator has a lot of, quite the reach. Uh, yeah, I cheated to get that back. Take it two hours to get, get that thing back. Uh, oh yeah, I did do a little bit of mining off camera, just four buckets, it wasn't much. I tried really hard to reach some of these areas here, and I know this isn't the best area. So we're going to go ahead and wash this and see what we can come up with. And then uh, we can pay off the loan. I uh, have to keep in mind that the landlord's going to take some. So again, I'm, gonna s I'm not going to smelt all of it. I'm just going to let the landlord take his 30% in unprocessed gold. Sorry, I, it's been a few days since I played. I forgot, to, uh, forgot how to drive the truck. And yeah, so then that way he just gets dirty gold to gold loss. And I keep the good stuff. So we'll go up here, see what we have. Uh, I've been thinking about what I'm going to do, and realistically, it's technically the first day of summer. So chances are we're not going to get a Tier 3 up and running this se this year. And I mean, before winter. You know, I, I basically thought about it, and more or less what I'm going to do is I'm going to get as much as I can with the big excavator. We'll rent it, save up as much gold as we can, and then sell it or sell it as we go, whichever, because landlord's tickets, it's cut out. And then we're going to wait till the spring to buy the tier 3, because uh, in the spring, everything's going to be so much cheaper. But uh, anyways, uh, let me get everything set up, and I'll bring you back when uh, I've got the gold processed. Okay, we're just coming to the last of it. It's actually better than I thought. We've got 360, which means the landlord's going to take 120 of that. So uh, that gives us 240, which is about 10 grand. Uh, i got to shut uh, this off. Uh, I had to pick up the generator, this thing over, because it was over at the wash plant. And I picked up the fuel tank, too, because we're going to have to pick that up. And I'm also going to have to buy another pump. If I can, I'll buy an electric one, but that's two grand. I might have to spend the, just 300 and do runs with this. Uh, the, the fuel tank would be a nice thing to have, but uh, yeah, it's so long way right now. Well, we probably could get it, but don't exactly have a lot of money. I think we got to get the big excavator running so we can get the wash plant going so I can get eight maybe even ten buckets in one day and try to get like a decent amount of gold yes that's what I'm trying to say so I can actually buy stuff all right now I, ha I actually had trouble tr actually understanding how you're supposed to return rentals and apparently you just drive it onto the pad and you sell it so that's what we're gonna do uh, don't get any money you just send it back to the store and you don't pay any rental fees anymore for it because right now this thing is costing seven hundred dollars a day. Uh, hopefully, hopefully when we head into town, the big excavator will be on sale, so we can get it for maybe like twenty five hundred a day. Uh, which means I have to get at least sixty grams, at least sixty grams of gold to rent the excavator every day. And we'll see how that goes from there. Okay, we'll sell that. Confirm, and I'll meet you in town. Okay, I'm just coming to the blacksmith now. I'm thinking about it. Since it's still nine o'clock, I could be should be able to get up and running by eleven, maybe. That I might just sell all the gold because I have to pay off the loan anyways, and I want to try to at least have a day or two of buffer, and then we'll start digging right away to try to get some gold processed. Oops, for the landlord because the landlord is gonna want his cut no matter what. So anyways, uh, I have $1,400, can I even smelt all this? Just barely. Alright, well, I'll meet you at the bank. Okay, well that wasn't bad, Fourteen grand for that. Let's sell that, yes. Loan, I still have 4600 I gotta pay off of this. I'll pay that, leaves nine. I'm gonna need fuel, I'm gonna need at least three grand to fill up that tank. I need another pump. Uh, probably another big hose. 
So we're looking at another 300. So it might be doable. One thing about I want to have an issue with is that tank, the big tank I want to get. I'm just curious to see what I can get. 24 grand. Hmm. All right. Well, let's uh, go hit up the the machine uh, machine park. I didn't see any sales coming in, but it doesn't mean there isn't anything on sale. You never know. And I tell you, it's a good thing I've never had to drive drive a tra trailer in real life because I'd be terrible at it. I know. I'm sure it'd be a lot easier when you're actually in the vehicle, looking behind you out the back window. But yeah, oh, missed my turn. Too busy rambling on. But yeah, see, that's that's the thing. Is everything else? Everything is going up in price now. I think can't remember, but I think the yeah, big excavator was around ninety-eight thousand last time. So let's see how much it is now. Yeah, about ninety-eight. And what's the rental on that? Four thousand a day, so a hundred grams, eighty, ninety-five grams, ninety grams, somewhere around there. Can I rent the fuel tank? That's the question. I can for eight hundred. Forget that. Forget that. Yeah, uh, I'm assuming you can rent everything in here. At about thirty thousand dollars a day, I had a figure. I have to get everything twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars to rent everything. The duplex jigs, like that, that's the big that's the money right there. And you need two of those to get the maximum gold output. So yeah. What shall we do? See I don't I gotta pay transport fees too. You know what? Just do it. If we fail, we fail. But hey. You don't you don't succeed if you don't try, right? Paint you up, check out. All right, one big excavator, thank you. Another fifteen hundred, oh, sorry, two thousand, fifteen hundred to move it. And now I'm broke. I have just enough for fuel, and I have nothing for the landlord. So that means, like I said, I gotta gotta do some digging. I gotta learn how to drive a trailer properly. Should start playing trucking simulator. I get it eventually. So now, basically straightforward from here. I'm gonna head up to the equipment shop, pick up a pump and another hose. Uh, maybe a few more buckets, and I'll hit up the gas station on the way back, and I'll meet you back at the claim. Jeez, no point investing in gold in the stock mar stock market. You might as well invest in buckets. These things are up to seven dollars a piece now. I couldn't believe that. It was six before. I know it's only one dollar, but in the long run, you're looking at what, like 18 percent, 16, 17 percent increase. Jeez, give, give it another another month and it'll be worth 20 bucks. You'll be rich. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back with a full tank of gas, a brand new pump, 200 bucks to my name, and a big brand new excavator. Beaten up to hell and so scratched a shit boot. What can you say? Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go drop this stuff off and I'm gonna bring the excavator over. Uh, I just still gotta hook up the pump and all that stuff. It is 10 o'clock. Should be, should be running by noon, so I shall see you then. Okay, I am back and time is a ticking. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, 1.30 in the afternoon. It took me a little while to get everything set up. Uh, needless. Oh. oh. Already? Oh no. <gasps> this ain't good. This ain't not good at all. And the reason being is I have payments coming out tonight. So, uh, let's take a quick nap. Uh, I gotta get some dirt processed tonight. Like, fortunately, I uh, do have a loan available so I can get it if I need to. What am I stuck on? I have no idea. Oh, first day of summer, we're already running dry. Oh, that's that's terrible. I regret sleeping in the morning. I, I slept till dawn. I should have just kept going. Anyway, so let's see if we can uh, get some water. 
This is not good. We have the excavator here, though. We have gas. We don't have water. That is going to be the problem. Oh, jeez. Might have to take a loan. Oh, let's see, it's... We've got six hours. Let's sleep one more. See if we get anything. We have absolutely no water. Oh, so we're going to end up in the red unless I take borrow some money. That's going to suck big time. Okay, let's do this. I yeah, definitely want to live on that excavator because I got four grand in there. And I almost want to take the biggest loan possible. So that's going to be 2500 a day. Uh, I got to still pay the landlord about. Well, about 5000 Oh, this is going to be terrible. Well, let's bring this down to. Manageable level. At least we can start mining first thing in the morning. So that right there is about 200. That's the thing, it wants to take the loan. I am stuck with the loan. Let me just think about this one for a sec. You know what? We're going to take a chance. We should have good dirt. I'm going to take out the maximum loan on the maximum turn. It's $2,500 a day, but we have going to give us 24000 So 2500 plus the excavator is 6500 a day. That gives me about three days. And I have full tiny jazz. Ooh. You know what? Let's bring that down just a little bit. Sure. We're done. we got three days of mining. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. All right, we have no water. We have no chance of digging. Uh, maybe we'll get an early start. We have water. We have water. Fortunately, a landlord won't be taking anything out. So I more or less want to keep this excavator running as fast as I can. All right. Now, as long as I don't have to adjust any hoses, you know, by the time I get start digging, the loans are coming out, the payments are coming out, so... Yeah... But... I should be able to get a fair amount of gold out of this. At least I hope so. Let me go up to the last one. You can see the big guy all the way over there, and... It wasn't easy driving it up here, because I had to take this route, because... I dug a little too close over here, so I wasn't actually able to get the excavator by. So that was another headache, another pain I had to deal with. So now I go all the way over here, and this little hump right here, oh my god, it was so hard for me to get over that little spot there. And what do you know, I broke a wheel. I was just, I, I didn't even say it either, I was going to say, well watch, this is, now that I'm in, I'm broken, I'm in debt, I'm going to start losing Parts are going to start breaking. The hell is that noise? I have no idea. I don't care. I got to get some dirt going through. Uh, let's not put that there. Let's put it over here. And hopefully I brought a cable with me. I did. Ooh. Always go. Always be prepared. Always keep something in the truck. Okay. So we're good to... I don't know how many buckets I have. I have to, like 12 buckets. I'm going to try to fill all 12 of them if I can. And yeah, so I'm going to start digging. I'll bring you back. Okay, it's coming up to midnight here. We'll find out how much money we lose. I'm slowly working along. It's good to see this wash plant like full. And I think I have to reposition myself a little bit. At, uh, I had to back up a little bit. I was hitting rough ground. Alright, three minutes. Let's see how bad this is going to be. It'd be nice if I had a drill sample for this area so I could see what, it, what I'm looking at here. And... 
Oh, it's only 10 o'clock. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I still got two more hours. Yes, I know how to tell time. Anyway, I shall return. Okay, we are coming up to the, the witching hour now. We'll see how much we have to dish out. Fortunately, we do have money. Uh, I'll have to see how much how much fuel I have and how long this fuel lasts, but I basically plan on digging until I run out of, run out of water. I don't know how, much, how far I'll be able to get. Maybe I can do this whole strip over here. Uh, I may try to move over here because I know that's a little bit better over there, but we'll see how it is. Uh, let's see, we got seven minutes, which isn't long. I think one hour is like five minutes. In the, one hour in the game is five minutes real time. So we shall see. Uh, I figure it's going to be about 6,500. I don't exactly know how much. Well, I don't know what it's going to take for the gold, but we had to smelt it all just to get that loan off so we could take another loan and buy fuel and all the usual stuff that goes gets involved. So I was able to get a buck and a half before the loans came out and only because I, I repositioned a couple of times and kind of failed miserably at it. Alright, so... Ouch. Oh, we got one day. <laughs> that was a lot. That was 11,000. I forgot we had to pay for another day of the excavator, too. Which means all the more reason to keep this thing running. So I'm going to do what I can. And I'll bring you back when I have a whole ton of gold to deal with. And wait, you know what? 7.30? I have an issue. Breakdown. And guess what? It's that mode. So I'm not going to worry about anything else. I'm not going to worry about refilling this. I'm just going to drop this off here. We're going to pick up a trailer wheel while we're down there. Uh, we do not have much money left. So I have no idea uh, what we're going to be able to do here. Uh, I do have five and a half buckets of gold already. So we'll see what happens. It's a matter of trying to get that loan off, paid off as soon as possible. Oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop, 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 stop. That's why I want the electric pumps. Because I can just hit the big button on the wall, and I, like I said before, that big generator when it has very little load on it, because it has a very high output. Uh, it can last a very, very long time. Like I said, you can have the mobile wash plant and three, three of these pumps running for a week solid and no problems. Alright, so last one. And then I'm going to head off to the equipment store and we'll have a look at that pump or that motor. Ooh, buckets are on sale. That's the new one. Okay, here we are. Let's just see how much they are. Six dollars. Ooh, they're normal price now. Alright, need a trailer wheel. I think. Ooh. Ooh, trailer wheel. And what else did I need? It. I needed... Oh, yeah, wash plant engine. E. 2000. So, yeah, we gotta get some gold processed today. And money in the bank today. Well, probably not money in the bank because, uh, five grand of that really was a landlord's cut of the gold. So, realistically, we only have like 6,500 we gotta worry about. Which we don't have. Good, good times, good times. Alright, I'll meet you at the claim. Okay, here we are. We're not going to worry about the trailer wheel right now. Right now, I'm just worried about getting dirt processed as fast as I can. I actually forgot to move those. Actually, those are empty ones. Uh, I thought I had a fifth bucket here somewhere. I thought I did. I think I was working on the fifth bucket. Anyway, so uh, we will be able to get money for this. Uh, I think I use uh, the pipe wrench on this. Yes. I think that's only two bolts we have to take off. I think we'll get like probably like 50 bucks for this thing when we sell it, but eh, we're desperate for cash. Right now, it's just a matter of getting this thing up and running so we can get back to work and making more money. So we can pay off the landlord and our bank loan and excavator loan. And, uh, no one said hard mode would be easy. Technically, it's veteran mode, but it's the hard mode. Okay. Now we can get back up and running, so I gotta get the pumps up and running again, or uh, 
generator. Let's make sure this actually has power now. It is fixed and running. And it has power. So I'm going to continue digging and I'll bring you back. Well, this looks like a good place to call it and clean up the gold. Uh, the generator kind of crapped out, so I can't do the 84% left in there. Uh, needless to say, I cannot use this anymore. See, it's not out outputting power, so yeah, that's no good. There is a cooler here that has to be replaced. Uh, it shouldn't be too expensive, but I think... I think we're just going to go ahead and take these seven buckets and see what we get. Uh, I do want to get to the get this processed and to the bank in time for the loan. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this back. I grab. I have to go to the bank first. Actually, I actually have to go to the equipment store first because I don't even have a generator to use. Ha ha ha. Anyway, so. Uh, see what time is it now yeah I think what well, that's what we'll do we'll do a uh, we'll do a bit of a wash up here uh, I'll take the generator with me into town and then uh, get the part for it and I'll meet you back at the, the tent and it seems we have run dry too what a shame at least we got seven buckets through uh, it's looking like that's how it might have to be it might have to do our mining at night just because the water is not holding up and I don't have 150 grand to buy the water tower Anyway, off to town. I'm hoping that's just a visual glitch, but my buckets appear to be empty. And I know those are all full buckets. And I know stuff doesn't dump out, so... Let's just hope that's it, or we might be in the season pretty quick here. Anyway. Yeah, it's just a visual thing. Okay, I'm back. Eh, it wasn't too expensive. It was uh, $93, so it's not the end of the world. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, I should have enough fuel on that. Okay, let's take this out. And we'll grab that if my arms are long enough. Okay, now how do I take this thing off? I believe... No. Is it the crowbar? No. Let's see here. It's not a shovel, not that. It's not the cordless. Or that, or that, or that. There's something actually in the back here I gotta take off. Aha! There's sneaky little buggers hidden way in there. Okay, now we can take that off. Okay, where is the other one? All the way over there. Okay, let's get this back on. And then let's get that gold processed and we gotta hit up the blacksmith and the bank and pray to God that we have money to work tomorrow. Or and water. Okay, that is that. We'll stand back up. Bring this over here. Not there. There. Ugh. Back up. There we go. Alright, let's get some water going. Take that. Yeah, can't do much. All right, well, I want to have to take a nap until we have water. I guess uh, that's what we can really do. Sleep an hour. No water. Sleep an hour. And no water. Sleep an hour. And no water. Sleep an hour. Please don't use water. Damn. Oh. Ah, good, 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 good. We've got four and some hours to actually get this processed and going. And good thing the bank is open 24 hours and the blacksmith is open 24 hours. Uh, oh yeah, I do that. And let's get these buckets going. So same as before, I'll get stuff, every, everything processed, and I will bring you back when it's we're all done. Okay, I've got the last book going to the magnetite separator right now, and the numbers are looking really good. The lowest I've seen was a thousand, that was on that 84% bucket. And I've got another 1100, so that is pretty good. Let's we'll stop that, we'll take that out, and let's get the wavetable up and going. 
I'm being hopeful, but I'd like to see a thousand grams. I honestly don't think it's gonna happen, but we can can always hope. And we can always hope that this it gets done sooner than later, because I got four hours to get this through. And uh, we're gonna do it in one big run, just because we can. Uh, I think one of the buckets had almost 1,700 grams of magnetite, so that is very promising. Right now, if we can just get the loan paid off, <laughs> that's about all it would really do. Yeah, it's looking about 100 grams a bucket. But uh, again, this will take a few minutes, so I shall return. Okay, we're coming up to the end of it here, and we have 680 grams. Uh, 680 minus 35 for the landlord. We're looking at about, we got about 450 we can spend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run to the blacksmith, smelt down 400 grams, making sure we have enough left over for the landlord, and go to the bank and sell the, sell the gold for 15,000. Better than nothing. And we're going to pay off some of this loan. Uh, let's see here. I have 19,000. I need gas. And I want to have at least enough for one day, so. I pay off five grand. And the daily payment does go down, so. That's good. That's actually going to get so much easier. And with that, I think I'm going to head back to the claim, do some more mining. I was going to bring the fuel tank with me, but I wanted to make sure I got here. Make sure I have money in the account and actually have gold for the landlord for uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, needless to say, changing that trailer wheel may have taken a moment or two. So, yeah, what, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head back, do some more mining, uh, and next episode we'll continue on. Uh, it's unfortunately the best, best time for me, me to be mining right now because of the water situation. I missed my turn. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.